what's up y'all and welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be doing another 12 hour foundation test that is right i have the kosas bb burst tinted gel cream right here i did get this a couple weeks ago it is new on the market i have really really been enjoying this i've only done about eight or nine hours thus far but I'm excited to dive in and do a full 12 hour wear test. Let me tell you a little bit about this before we dive in. So this is a clean tinted gel cream that's a fresh take on a tinted moisturizer. It delivers a refreshing burst of active skincare, light buildable coverage, and a smooth hydrated natural finish. This says that it has copper peptides which are going to support collagen to visibly plump and firm the skin. Sacharide, isomerate, and sodium PCA are going to smooth, hydrate, and support the skin barrier. And we also have zinc, which soothes sensitive skin and redness. So we like the claims. We like what it has to offer. This does come in 24 different shades. I have the shade 11, very light, cool. This is a fantastic shade match for me. Um, this also retails for $38 at Sephora. I will leave it linked down in the description box as I will everything else that I use in this video or have on my face. So if you have any questions per usual, you can just check that little box down there. But I'm excited. Let's jump into this. Let me get on, um, well, get my hair out of my face and we'll get started. All right, y'all, so get my hair out of my face and I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer right here. I know this one. I love this one. I do have others that I'm really enjoying and I know and love, but this one's almost empty and your girl is on a mission. I am ready to finish this up and move it out because I don't want it to turn and go bad, but this is one of my favorite primers. It's hydrating. It's grippy. It just, it tacks onto the skin. All right, let's jump into this. So I really like this bottle. It's plastic, which is very travel friendly. I think it's cute. I like the yellow and the blue. It's also got one of those airless pumps. So instead of it going down and then having like where you're trying to scrape out all the product, it's just gonna push everything up and I love that. But we're gonna go in with a sponge. So I do one big pump. I will say this has a smell to it. It's not a fragrance. It's just like an ingredient smell. It's one of those that I'm not very fond of the smell of it, but once you have it on, it kind of dissipates. Like you can't smell it anymore, but especially whenever I'm putting it around my nose, I can really, really smell it. It's, I don't know how to describe it other than just like ingredients. But there is the one side of my face. You can see it is a light coverage. It just kind of perfects the skin. It's nice and hydrated. It feels really good. It looks really good. I really enjoy this. I love a good light coverage foundation. Um, for reference, I am 38 years old. I do have a normal skin that leans a little more on the dry side in the winter and a little bit more on the oily side in the summer. Right now it's pretty well balanced though. I'm not having a lot of issues. I also live in a very hot, humid climate. I am down here in Houston, Texas and our summers get pretty brutal. Ugh, they get very humid, very hot. Um, I also prefer a light to medium coverage foundation. And I love more of just a natural finish, maybe even a dewy finish. I am not huge on a matte finish at all. And while I like a glowy finish, I don't want anything that's like, like bam in your face. But this one is kind of that perfect spot for me. This is very cooling on the skin too. So this is what the skin is looking like. It looks very smooth, very hydrated, just evened out a little bit more. You can still see a little bit of that redness right here. You can still see my sunspot. It's not accentuating anything. It doesn't sink into my lines on my forehead. Um, 
<clears throat> I could probably put a like color correcting primer on underneath this and get rid of the rest of that redness but it doesn't really bother me too much it just gives me a natural flush of color and this is a really really good shade match for me I do really appreciate that but I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup I'm gonna do my concealer my powder my bronzer and I'll be right back to show you what this looks like with all that on Okay, we're back. This is what the skin is looking like with the rest of my products on over top. I think it looks really, really nice. I'm not having anything emphasize my lines. Everything is just meshing together so, so nice. I will say this foundation kind of moves with the skin really nicely, which is another thing I love about it. But let me show you what I went ahead and finished this off with. So I went in with my Natasha Denona Gucci Concealer Combo. I know I'm actually Extra, but I can't help it and then I set my under eyes with my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder this is in fair one right here and then I just did a light dusting of my Sigma powder over the rest of my face this is the soft focus setting powder in vanilla bean absolutely love that one and then for bronzer I just went in with my Gucci bronzer in um, zero one which I think is either light or fair something like that it'll be in the description box and then for my blush I went in with one of the Odin's eye blushes in sunset clouds and of course I set my face with my LYS setting spray as well I absolutely love this this is a favorite for sure and this is what we're looking like so I'm going to go ahead and go throughout the rest of my day, do a check-in, see how it's wearing, see if it's breaking down, see if it's holding up, and then we will come back at the end of the day, bring all of our thoughts together, and discuss this foundation. So I will see y'all in just a little bit. Here we are for our very first check-in. We are right at the six hour mark. Um, I don't think I told y'all what time I finished this, but it was right around 9.15, 9.20 this morning, and it is currently right before 3.30 in the afternoon. So right over that six hour mark, and this is what the complexion is looking like. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. It is a lighter coverage, but it just kind of perfects your skin just a little bit, but I'm not having anything break down it's not settling in it's not looking cakey or breaking up um, it's not accentuating my lines on my forehead or anything like that they are deep they're there I know that but so far the complexion is looking really really nice I'm excited we've got six more hours to go and we'll see what this foundation does so we will come back um, about 9 30 tonight and sit down give you my final thoughts on this foundation and see what the complexion is looking like okay y'all so here we are at the end of the day we are over the 12 hour mark it is 9 29 at night and I've had this makeup on all day. I have had it on since about 9.15, 9.20 this morning. This is what we are looking like. Let me get you close up because this looks so nice. I am so impressed with the way that this wore. I am not having anything caking up. I'm not having anything breaking down. Nothing is sinking into my lines. Nothing is doing anything weird. It still looks like it did when I put it on this morning. Maybe even a little bit better since some of my natural oils have kind of um, seeped through just a little bit. But I'm impressed, y'all. Um... I had not planned on picking this up at all like I just thought oh it's another you know BB cream I don't need another BB cream I have ones that I love and I happen to be in Sephora and I just kind of put a little bit on the back of my hand and thought that the consistency of it was really cooling and really interesting so I picked it up and I'm so glad that I did because I think next to the Prada foundation this is one of my absolute favorite um, complexion products that I have tried so far this year. I know this is only the beginning of March, but I've tried quite a bit. I have quite a few um, that I've already tried, quite a few that I still need to continue testing, and I have quite a few that are on the way or on my wish list, but I love this. It is hydrating. It is cooling. It's effortless to put on. It's so lightweight. It's user-friendly. It just... It looks beautiful and I'm happy to have it. 
This one gets a huge, huge thumbs up for me. I recommend it. Um, it says it's for all skin types. I don't know how it would do on oily skin. I feel like if you have combination to dry, this is going to do fantastic. Oily, I don't know. I feel like maybe it would because it doesn't feel like it's got um, like a lot, like too much hydration or too much glow in it. It just has enough. So maybe get a little tester from Sephora if you have oily skin so you can try it out first. But I really love this. This is a favorite of mine right now. I want to wear it all the time. I have a feeling I'm going to get a lot of use out of this in the summer. I'm excited about it. And yeah, Kosas did this. So this is fantastic. I really love it. But that is all I have for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed this 12 hour wear test. I hope that these are helpful for y'all. I hope that you're able to take something from this, whether it's something that you're interested in, something that you're not interested in, or you just enjoy seeing how different foundations wear. I do have several more on the way and several more that I am testing, so bear with me. But um, I want to thank you all so much for spending your time with me and watching my video as always. It means so, so much to me. And I would love it if you would give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave and click that notification bell so that you can be notified of all my future uploads here on my channel. I do upload quite a few videos a week, most days if not every single day, and I wouldn't want you to miss one. But until my next video, have a good one. Bye.